All right, I've I've heard your all I've heard all of your thoughts. You haven't actually listed the complaints yet, but I I can tell what you're thinking. You're thinking, Artie, you got to stop being in the bikes all the time. You try hard. You should be in something that's not a bike. And you know what? Fine. You know what? Fine. I will be in a cart this time. We'll be Luigi and the Super Yay. Blooper. I like the Super Blooper. I've heard that automatic steering actually makes it easier to use this. Now we're doing manual steering, all right? We'll try it out, see how it works. All right, we've cleared the first six cups. Now we are on to the Gold Mushroom Cup. We've got, ooh, GCN Yoshi Circuit. Love that, SNES Mario Circuit 2, Royal Raceway, and Candy Coaster. Have played Candy Coaster, that was a fun one. So I should have played all of these at this point. Maybe not in this version of the game, but. All right, all right, all right. I've played some of the ones in the earlier cups, but once we start getting towards the end, not a whole lot. All right, I love Yoshi Circuit. One of my favorite Mario Kart courses of all time. This sh should be pretty doable in a cart. It's not specifically designed for bikes, which is good. So for those of you who don't know, carts are a lot worse than bikes. They can't wheelie, and wheeling just gives you a speed boost on straightaways. And they have way worse turning, however, we can get the double power slide boost. Is it still possible? It is beautiful. Good to see that shortcut still in the game. This course might be a little tricky, since we do have... Ooh! Oh, man. It looks like... Yeah! Oh, yes! The other shortcut is in this version. I'm gonna try to take that if at all possible. That's not what I want. Oh man, I forgot how difficult it is to use carts. It still hit me too? No. That's bad. A bomb? Well, this could be good. It only hit an invincible person. Great. Another one? I think I'm actually gonna save this bad boy. I want to. I want to take that second shortcut. Oh my gosh! I wish I was in a bike. Okay, these turns. No! You butt! Okay, yeah, carts are so much worse. My goodness. Come on, give me something good. Nah, it's not enough to take the shortcut though. Man, I can't remember. Other... Wow! I can't tell if it's just all of the constant ins and outs of Yoshi Circuit or if I'm just really bad in the cart, but man, the cart I can't control. At least not while I'm power sliding. I don't remember the carts being this bad. I remember them definitely being worse than bikes, but not this bad. Like, the cart's turning just don't even work properly. No! I'm not even able to take the shortcut I desperately wanted because all the power-ups were gone. Wow, that red shell just didn't even do anything. Are we actually still going to pull out a, a W? Wow, we still won. Definitely should not have won, but all right, we did it. The const- okay, I thought Yoshi Circuit would be doable in a cart, but the constant left and right and left and right of the curves, you can't really power slide in a cart, so the bikes just dominate. Story of my life. All right, SNES Mario Circuit 2. This has never appeared in a normal Mario Kart outside the SNES and GBA version, so... It's, it's square and flat again. Lovely. The turns here do not look too bad. Oh no. I blew up. That's not a good say. Only three laps on this version, unlike the first Mario Circuit. Oh, there's an offer of ramp. I gotta remember that. Oh, this is so fitting that Waluigi is my rival. Oh man, I wish brake drifting was a thing in this game. 
I forgot what the trick button was. Diddy calls in a second. That's interesting. I'm not even able to take advantage of the double power slide boost. Hey, that happened right before the power ups. That's lucky. There we go. I mean, the double power slide boost isn't even that good. Like, if I was given a choice between getting a double power slide boost or having a wheelie, take the wheelie any day. Wheelie comes in handy so much more frequently. Still, as far as carts go, Super Blooper has not bad turning. Even though it has way worse turning than the inside drift stuff. Yeah, the modern Mario Kart games have definitely... I'm not even going to say perfected steering, but have made steering a lot more viable. Even with outside drift. Okay, now, now, now I'm back. I'm easing back into the cart business. Whoa! Extreme close-up of Luigi. <laughs> why is the? Why are we getting this extreme close-up? What the heck? <laughs> oh, I miss the Luigi death glare. That's what we need. All right, two victories. Uh, next course is I already forget. At sixty-four Rainbow uh, Royal Raceway. I like Royal Raceway. Is this the Mario Kart 8 version? Or can we actually go to Peach's Castle? Like in the N64 one. <laughs> that big turn up ahead. Not this one, but <laughs> the, the one after this. This is gonna be tough to be on a cart. I had to get the fake power up, didn't I? Yeah, you definitely have to let go of the accelerator to make it away around that turn. Even when I was at a standstill. Curses. I want my power ups. Okay, this definitely seems like it's the Mario Kart 8 version. Because that's normally a flight pad, so they turned it into like a pseudo DK cannon. Well, actually, no. That's how it goes in the N64 version as well. Alright, Waluigi. Oh, sharp shot. Let's see how we can handle this curve on the second lap. Actually, no, that curve is perfectly doable. Never mind. I do love Royal Raceway. It's another fun level. I especially like the N64 one, where you can do a jump at the right time and end up uh, warping to the top of the ramp. That's always fun. Obviously, don't do that in multiplayer unless everybody knows how to do it. Otherwise, it's a little unfair. Darn it. Boy, did it. Wally, Luigi, how dare you? I like how close behind me they are. Although it looks like pretty much everybody is in a cart on this uh, circuit. I have not seen a whole lot of characters in bikes. It's like I saw Bowser in the Wario bike. That was about it. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, now I'm, now I'm getting the hang of the super blooper. It's hard going from an inside drift bike to an outside drift cart. It's not to say the carts are bad, they're just not horrendously broken like the bikes are. <laughs> Alright, 
Final level, Candy Coaster. This is an original one, and this is quite fun. I love candy. I love candy themed uh, levels. This is no exception. This might be a tricky one in a cart, though. Oh, actually, yeah, this might be really tricky in a cart. We'll see. <laughs> gonna be a wild ride. Oh yeah. I'm looking at some of those turns. Yikes. Still, love the theming of the level. Those are oil slicks on the ground. I don't know who's putting oil in their cakes, but it's gotta stop. Oh man. Kinbu. Kinbu, was that a red shell you threw backwards? That's low. Welcome to the Candy Coaster! Donkey Kong?! <laughs> oh no. This is impossible in a cart. It was only because the CPU was there that I was even able to get out of that. Little shortcut you can do there. You can cut that turn. I chose to do that because there is no way I was going to be able to make it around that turn in a cart. So this is the thing. The tracks that they brought back from old games, you can probably do it in a cart no problem. But the new custom tracks, they were designed for inside grip bikes. So, good luck. Good luck if you're not picking like the mock bike or the flame runner or the bullet bike or something like that. Again? I do like the Daisy Circuit music. And it does fit this level. Oh dear. How would you get around that turn if you were in something like the Jet Setter? I know you're thinking, nobody picks the Jet Setter. Well... It doesn't mean you need to design courses so that it's impossible if you do pick the Jet Setter. Just pointing it out. Hmm, this, this car doesn't have that bad off-road. I guess the name of the car is the Super Blooper. Makes sense why bloopers would be pretty good even if they're not on the road above ground or above water. Alright, this is still this is a fun level. Some of these turns are a little precise to make with the cart, like that one. But on the whole, very fun level. I am not gonna do a jump around that. More around this one. Yeah, wasn't able to. Wasn't even even able to come close making that turn. Thankfully, I picked the car for good off road. And there we go, candy coaster. Nice job, by Luigi. Sixty points. We got a perfect score in a cart. Very nice. And on custom tracks, no less. I will probably be sticking large roof inside drift bikes for the future, but you know what? That was a good change of pace, so I'm, I'm glad we did it at least once. And I'll continue doing it. Oh, wow, we even got a star. I don't think we should have gotten a star with how much we went off-road. But, well, there we go, I suppose. Let's do that again. New circuit. I like cycling through medium, heavy, and light guys. To play, play as them rel uh, with relative equality. So, do I want to go up to a heavy guy or back? Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to be a light guy. Let's be Baby Luigi. We were Luigi last time, now we're Baby Luigi. And we're going to be on the jet bubble. Or actually, do we want to be on the jet bubble? 
Yes, we want to be on the jet bubble. I want to try out a bike. I don't think this is as inside drift as some of the other bikes, but it still should be fine. We are now in the Spring Mushroom Cup, and I hate the Spring Mushroom power-up in Mario Galaxy. It's terrible. But we got some good courses. DS Airship Fortress, Yoshi Lagoon, N64 Chocolate Mountain, and Summer Starville. Okay, I love me some Airship Fortress. Airship Fortress is one of those courses that if it appears in like every Mario Kart game, I'd be happy. Really, really fantastic level. Oh, we won't get the amazing music though. That's a shame. You can open the music in a separate YouTube tab while listening to this. To get the full experience. And this gives me the chance to get used to the jet bubble turning, because it's not a vehicle I use very frequently. Oh, okay. We get Bowser Castle GBA music, though. That's, like, my favorite track in the game. So. Alright. Good to get knocked around again. Well, if it had to be any track from the vanilla Mario Kart Wii, I would want it to be this one. Okay, yeah, this is not... If this is an inside drift bike, then it's a very slight inside drift bike. Oh, come off it! Did everybody dump all their stuff right at that part? Alright, King Boo! You are going down. Oh, great. A blooper. Bad power. Although it is better against CPUs than human players, because for some reason the CPUs are like, I gotta slow down now that a blooper is in my windshield. It was especially that way in the DS for me. It's like Mario gets hit with a blooper, he like stops his vehicle, steps outside of it to clean his windshield, realizes he doesn't have a windshield, gets back in the car, and then is like, Hey, how did I get in the last place? <laughs> True story. Okay, dry Bowser. Maybe cool it. Like, why... Why are half the power-ups in Mario Kart Wii just really terrible? Like, all of the new power-ups they introduced in this, outside of, like, the Mega Mushroom, were terrible. It's like, oh, Thundercloud. This is, like, a bad power-up to grab. Oh, uh, the Power Block. This, this little one sucks. I know the blooper is not a new power-up to this game. But, like, man, the blooper blows. Wow, that was that was most unfortunate for Baby Mario. Great! Dry Bowser just is invincible. Because, of course, he got an invincibility right before the shrink. Or was that Donkey Kong? Alright, Donkey Kane. My red shell hit the freaking wall. On. No. I'm not gonna win. I'm probably not even gonna win second. Okay, I win second. Donagon it! Donkey Kong wins because he got an invincibility right before the freaking shrink happened. And then there was just no catching him. Alright, no perfect score for us. That's fine, we can still have fun playing the tracks. Next up, Yoshi Lagoon. This is a new course. It's like Yoshi Beach. Or it's like Shy Guy Beach, but Yoshi themed. This looks very interesting. This looks very interesting. I don't really like the bouncy mushroom platforms, but... Well, they're here. May as well take advantage of it. Oh my gosh, the minimap looks like a... Like a SNES Yoshi. If Yoshi Circuit is shaped like a modern-day Yoshi, this is shaped like an old Yoshi. Oh, I, I love it. Take that Donkey Kong. What the, Who is that in front of me? How did you get in front of me? How the heck did you get in front of me? Mushroom. I, I'm sure there are plenty of shortcuts we can take. Oh, 
Okay, she is in the quacker. That is the slowest vehicle in the game. How am I not overtaking this? Thus far, it's a pretty boring course. I like the shape of it, but... Um, that was interesting. Alright, that was lap one. There seems to be a lot of alternate paths. Oh, like one right here. Wait, oh, no, wait, no, oh! Oh man, that's precise. Is that how Baby Daisy overtook me at the last lap? Did he call him Wario or literally driving in the air? Can we remove the blue shell from the game? Or severely change what it does? Um, why is there just a random mushroom lying out in the lagoon? It looked like you could take multiple mushrooms across. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dock points for you for that. You can't really see the mushroom bridges until it's too late to take them. Alright, somebody's going this way. Oh, oh no, no, not into the water. That better not be Dawn from home in first place. This is why I don't like bouncy mushrooms. They do not work properly. Okay, it's Dawn from home. I'll smack him. It's not one column, it's another. Okay, let's see if we can take this shortcut properly this time. Oh my gosh! I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. Boo! Bad design! That is very bad design. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm in 11th place and I got shrunk. Are you, are you for real? This course doesn't make sense. This course is so terribly designed, my gosh. This is such a terribly designed course. Like, once again, the bouncy mushrooms just don't work. It's the exact same complaint I have with the bouncy mushrooms in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. How about giving me a bullet bill? I need more than a gold mushroom. Diddy Kong's gonna win. Beat him by a hair. We are not doing well on this circuit, though. In my defense, that course is really terribly designed. I love the minimap, but that's not a fun course to race through. Way too reliant on the bouncy mushrooms, and they aren't placed properly. Oh boy, N64 Choco Mountain. One of the more overrated courses in Mario Kart's history. If you ask me, this is probably the most boring course in Mario Kart 64, but for some reason, everybody's like, this course is so good. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it really isn't. They made it a lot better in Mario Kart 8, but... It's just brown. That's its theme. That's literally the theme of the level, is brown. I just had a turn right to go left moment there. 
How did Peach fall? There was literally nowhere you could fall here. Looks like th this is the Mario Kart 8 version of the course. Which means that it must have been made quite recently. What the heck? These people are crazy. Alright, the calms are going down. Take that, DK. Whether you're Donkey or Diddy, your initials are DK. Joint. I had a banana peel. This is more fun than the original Chuckle Mountain, for sure. But it is still Chuckle Mountain, so. Go. N64, the N64 game had a lot of really great courses. Why are you singling Chuckle Mountain out as one of the better ones? It really is. The whole honestly, the whole Flower Cup in that game. Not very good. I I'm gonna say it. Toad's Turnpike is not great. Frappy Snowland is whatever. Chocolate Mountain kind of sucks. I guess Mario Raceway is okay, but it's it's a Mario Raceway, so like it's not ever going to be the most exciting course. In the world. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying it because it's true. For crying out loud, Dry Bones, you do not deserve this victory. Wow. Mario Kart's at it again. They are really trying hard to make me lose. Good, here we go. Nobody has four, 40 points or more, and we're going into the final race. Wow. That is bad. All right, final track. Where are we going? Summer Starville. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's Busy Town. Cool, we're driving through Busy Town. I can get behind this. Let's see if the course is laid out in a good way, though. Let's take a look at the mini map. Wow, that mini map is a mess. Hey, where are we supposed to be going? Like, there are kind of arrows telling you where to go? What the heck? That car just drove through a wall. Alright. Strike one. Okay, so there are arrows that tell you where to go. They're just sometimes not easy to see. This is crazy! Wait, what? I am confused. That is not where we started the finish line from at the beginning. Okay, car yeah, that, those cars are literally driving through fences. Donkey Kong is making Yoshi noises because he does that in Mario Kart Wii for some reason. Okay, there are some very, very sharp turns here. I'm pointing that out, there's some extremely sharp turns. That definitely would not be fair if you were not using a uh, bike. So judging from the minimap, there are two places you can cross the finish line. Um, you know what, whatever. Wait, oh, wait, there's a rooftop shortcut. No, wait, I want to go back.
Okay, this course is kind of crazy. I do like parts of this course, I just... There are two sharp turns for this to work properly outside of bikes, so I'm, I'm striking you down for that. I'm also striking you down for the uh, cars being able to just move through solid walls. Other than that, though, I like the design. I like the overall, like, look of that course. And the idea of, like, having a race through, like, a crowded little downtown area. I like that idea. I just feel like it needs to be refined a little bit. But on the whole, I did enjoy racing through that. And I'm, I'm actually going to open that up in time trials to see if I can take that rooftop shortcut. Because it looked really cool. <laughs> we got a rank A. Yeah, no star for us. We didn't get the highest point count. All right, Bully McGuire is going back to Summer Starville. So we can take a look around. I, I don't care about racing the ghosts. I really don't. Jasper. Wow, Jasper was not in an inside drift bike. He was in the Wild Wing. Wild Wing doesn't even have that good turning. All right, maybe there is a way of getting through the city efficiently in a cart. But I'm not here to race Jasper. I'm I'm here to take a look around because there's a lot to this course that I did not explore. And you know me, I like I like to hunt around for shortcuts. Okay, the roof shortcut's gonna be tough to take. Let's take a look around. Ouch. Okay, so that part's kind of boring. Okay, so... Oh, this is precise. Oh, dude, to get the roof shortcut? This is so precise. So you gotta line it up. Then you gotta go up. Oh my gosh. Even with an inside drift bike, that's really hard. Maybe we don't trick at the, up, at the top of that? This looks like it's actually a really cool and well done shortcut, so I wanna, I wanna give it... it uh, okay. Um, bully, bully McGuire, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do better. Okay, here we go. I was, I thought that, I thought it would go on for a bit longer than that. I guess it's still cool. So there's the half pipe you can go up in. Normally, there's power ups up there, I guess. Can you take, like, is there a secret alleyway back here? No. So the cars can cross through that fence, but we can't. Okay. Don't agree with that. Oh, what's this? There is some kind of a secret shortcut back here. Oh, wait, I actually took this way. That's the way to do this. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, that was definitely interesting, though. All right, Bully McGuire is going to take another look at Yoshi Lagoon. Maybe there was something I missed here. And, of course, the staff ghost is Yoshi on the Dolphin Dasher. Seems like a good choice. Okay. Bully... I was going to say Bully McGuire had enough momentum to get across, but you can't... If you take it, you can't get across the second gap. That's so stupid. Oh, so they expect you to, like, do turns off of the... No? It's way too unrealistic to expect. Unless you're, like, intending that as some kind of super shortcut, but clearly it's not. It's not very much... It's not faster. This is insane! I'm in an inside drift bike, and these turns are harder to take. So the one mushroom is just there to do that. I don't think that's any faster. Okay, this way. And I spy with my little eye something weird. Okay. So you can go over here. I spied this on my last lap here. There's a ramp. Can you go on the Yoshi egg in the middle? What the heck? The Yoshi egg is bouncy apparently. Uh, okay. That's really weird. There's also apparently you don't have to go. Why would you go this way? The mushroom is a lot faster and way easier to work. Maybe there's like a power-up over there? 
never checked it out because it, it just seemed like there was no point. Can you get to that Chain Chomp Island? I'm only 35 seconds behind. Okay, no, hang on. No, 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 no. I want to see if it's possible to get through this first set of mushrooms without falling off. I think it is, it's just ridiculously precise. I apparently fell off, even though I didn't. How the heck are you supposed to do that without falling off? How the heck are you supposed to do that without falling off? You've got to go through the boost panels. Okay, this is no, this is ridiculous. You got to go through the boost panels, land on the mushrooms. You're going to be going so fast that you just rocket through the mushrooms to the other side, and the platform is so incredibly tiny, and you have to make a ridiculously sharp turn on it. Then make another sharp turn during the bounce in the opposite direction just to avoid falling off. Okay, uh, it worked for us only because we got crazy lucky with the mushroom bouncing our NV. But you can't expect that every single time. No siree, Bob! Okay, it looks like Chain Chomp Island is off limits, it's just there for decoration. The heck? Again, I'm in a bike with some of the best turning in the entire game. And I can't make it around those turns. What gives? I see what you were trying to do with Yoshi Lagoon. It had some good ideas here, but man, does it fall off in execution. Like, big time. So I'm giving this- I'm giving this a fail. However, that doesn't mean that it's irredeemable. I just think that this is- unless you can revamp this a lot and make the mushroom platforms better and make it a more overall enjoyable track experience. If you can do that, you could have a great course. But until you do, this is going to be a second course, and I will not be playing it again. So there.